this is a pretty private section. It's a, it's a steep mountain in there. There's some pretty steep lines, so uh, we're pretty cautious about uh, keeping it closed off. How long has it been since people rode this last? Oh, eight years ago, liability-wise, we just don't allow this to happen very often. I grew up skiing Alpine and Squaw and staring at this and driving past it and skiing past it and always dreaming and wanting to ski here and finally got to do it today. I know some of you guys are local, been around for a while looking at this stuff. It'll be fun for you to see you guys get in there. We're gonna test those skis out. Let's get these things activated, shall we? I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. Cool. Activated skis were nice because they're, they're smaller skis, you know, so they're nimble, kind of fitting in between the rocks and making quick adjustments and being able to kind of find little pathways through the rocks. Really nice. It's better in a way because when the snow's perfect, every kind of ski feels good. When it's a little bit tricky like this, you get a sense for what's working and what's not. I love Troy. He's got a great attitude. Definitely a yeah. man of the mountains. Yeah, you can tell he's loving it just seeing all these people playing in his backyard. He likes to see uh, people having a good time. It's pretty nice of him to make it all available for us. I can see why he loves it. You've honored us. You've honored the White Wolf today. You skied some of the initial runs that will be named after you guys. And almost everybody was a first liner in there today. I don't think any of that route's been done. Toast them up, guys. Good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Wolf, six pack. Nice backyard. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all.